welcome back in the previous lecture we learned about noun we learned about pronoun today we are going to cover a different topic which is adjective in order to understand what an adjective is it is very important to first know what is a noun and what is a pronoun so if you are not sure about what is a noun or a pronoun please watch my previous videos which have been uploaded so let's understand what an adjective is a very common and a simple definition for adjective is an adjective is a word which qualifies a noun or a pronoun now what is the meaning of this word qualifies qualifies means which is used to add something to the meaning of a noun or pronoun any word which we are using to add something to the meaning of noun or a pronoun is actually an adjective or we can say word which describes a noun or pronoun is an adjective koi bhi shabd jo noun ya pronoun ki visheshta batae use hum adjective kahenge let's look at the few examples written here so the first example is a brave child we know child is noun here and the word brave is telling us something about this noun child hence brave is adjective here. all right second one an intelligent answer which type of answer intelligent so intelligent is adjective here then his house whose house his again his is adjective here some sugar how much sugar some adjective here so we came to understand that brave intelligent his and some these are the words which we used to tell something extra about the nouns given in these phrases now we are going to understand the various kinds of adjectives one by one now the kinds of adjectives the first one we have is proper adjectives or what are proper adjectives proper adjectives are those adjectives which are derived from proper nouns uh let's understand how for example if i say india india is a name of a country it's a proper noun france german indian is adjective over here french german so those adjectives which are derived from the proper nouns such adjectives are known as proper adjectives all right now the second type is demonstrative adjectives those adjectives which are used to point out all right which are used to point out say this that these those now if we look at these examples the first one is that music is loud that this tie is too short this these puppies are very playful these and those sums are easy those the use of this that these those now the most important thing which we need to understand when doing demonstrative adjective is the use of these adjectives this that these those you will always find a noun immediately after these words that music music is noun this tie tie is noun these puppies puppies noun those sounds sounds noun so what you need to understand is when we talk about demonstrative adjectives and we know adjectives are those words which are used to describe the noun or pronoun so these are nouns whenever we use the demonstrative adjectives you will always find a noun placed immediately after it bachche aksar confuse karte hain the difference between demonstrative adjectives and demonstrative pronouns to usi ki ek hi pehchan hai wo ye ki demonstrative adjectives mein aap dekhenge ki after the demonstrative adjective there is a noun always the next kind of adjectives are possessive adjectives now what is the meaning of possessive possessive means possession belongingness ownership 
कोई चीज किसकी है जैसे हम हिंदी में पढ़ते हैं का के की कोई चीज किसकी है लाइक ये पेन किसका है ये बोर्ड किसका है राइट right. जिस मोबाइल या लैपटॉप पे आप ये वीडियो देख रहे हैं वो मोबाइल किसका है दैट शोज पोजेशन और ओनरशिप सो पोजेसिव एब्जेक्टिव लाइक वी हैव हिज माई आउट देर एंड यू विल ऑलवेज फाइंड दोजेसिव एब्जेक्टिव विद नाउस दे कैनॉट बी यूज अलोन दे विल ऑलवेज बी यूज विद नाउ नाउ लुक एट दीज फ्यू एग्जाम्पल्स रिटर्न ऑन बोर्ड रिहा इज माई फ्रेंड माई फ्रेंड फ्रेंड इज नाउ हियर माई फ्रेंड रिहा किसकी फ्रेंड है मेरी फ्रेंड माई फ्रेंड योर साइकिल हैज बीन स्टोलन योर साइकिल द स्टूडेंट हैव सबमिटेड देयर असाइनमेंट देयर असाइनमेंट सो दीज वर्ड्स दे आर शोइंग पोजेशन दे आर शोइंग बिलोंगिंगनेस एंड दे आर फॉलोइंग अंडर द कैटेगरी ऑफ पोजेसिव एब्जेक्टिव The next kind of adjective is distributive adjectives. इसमें आएंगे each, every, either, neither examples. Every girl has done her work. Each child will get a prize. Either side may win. When we talk about one of a number, then we use distributive adjectives. Our next kind is adjective of quality. whenever we talk about adjective of quality we want to convey that what kind of koi cheez kaisi hai koi cheez lambi ho sakti hai choti ho sakti hai safed ho sakti hai rang mein laal ho sakti hai hari ho sakti hai achhi ho sakti hai buri ho sakti hai so it depends so when we talk about what kind of koi cheez kaisi hai that comes that falls under the category of adjective of quality all right so we have few examples written over here let's understand this is a heavy box japan is a developed country if we look at the first sentence this is a heavy box ye ek heavy box hai kaisa box hai heavy so as heavy is adjective of quality japan is a developed country kaisi country hai developed so developed word is telling what kind of country developed hence it is adjective of quality then rina has a black dog this color black which color dog black black is adjective of quality dog is a faithful animal faithful telling the quality of the animal and new delhi is a large city large so heavy developed black faithful and large these are the examples of adjectives of quality because they are telling us what kind of the next kind we have adjective of number when we talk of adjective of number we classify it into two that is definite definite means which can be counted and indefinite when the number is not clear when we talk about definite we have cardinal which tells the number like we have uh, one Two and so on, three, four, five. Then other second one is ordinal. जो हमें क्रम बताता है, like for example, if I say first, second, third, and so on. And the third one is multiplicative. Multiplicative. गुणात्मक जैसे हम हिंदी में कह सकते हैं, say single, double. and so on all right so in definite we have cardinal which tells us the number 1 2 3 4 and so on ordinal first second third and so on and multiplicative single double triple and so on indefinite when the counting is not definite when we are not sure about the counting so in definite we can say some few etc few examples there are 10 students in the class so here 10 is telling us the number of students hence adjective of number we had one example in front of us the next kind is adjective of quantity when we talk about the adjective of quantity it answers the question how much example some 
little much. Let's look at them with the help of some sentences. I ate some rice today. Some. I have little interest in the sports. Little. She has much experience. Much. So we saw that rice, interest and experience. Here they are acting as nouns. But the adjectives which we have used before them, they are telling us how much but we cannot count them. Alright, I'll explain you the major difference between adjective of number and adjective of quantity. Students often confuse karte hai adjective of quantity and adjective of number. Mein. In dono bang kaisa identify karenge? Because same adjective can be used in two sentences but uski usage pe depend karega whether it is falling under the category of adjective of number or adjective of quantity. Let's understand. When we say adjective of quantity and when we say adjective of number adjective of quantity answers the question how much and adjective of number answers the question how many let's take one example some all right some is an adjective now i write two sentences on board and the usage of this word will make you understand whether it is adjective of quantity or adjective of number. When sum is used with uncountable noun, it will fall under the category of adjective of quantity. And when sum is used with countable noun, then it will fall under the category of adjective of number. For example, Give some food to the beggar. Some parents came to meet the principal. Now you can see some has been used in both the sentences. But in the very first sentence, after some, the noun is uncountable. You cannot count food. So when some, when the adjective is used with uncountable noun, it comes under the category of adjective of quantity. So in the very first sentence, some is adjective of quantity. It is answering the question, how much food? Okay. In the second sentence, we have some parents. It is answering the question, how many parents? Some parents, hence it is falling under the category of adjective of number. So this is one of the area in which students often get confused. This is how you can differentiate whether the adjective is adjective of quantity or it is adjective of number. The next kind of adjective is interrogative adjectives. Now interrogative adjectives are those adjectives which are used to ask questions. Like we have what, which, whose. Look at these examples. Which pen did you buy? Whose bag is this? What you will observe in this, interrogative adjectives, they come before the noun. This thing you need to remember. Again, you will find it a bit confusing, the difference between interrogative adjectives and interrogative pronouns. And the only way to find out is, if it is placed just before the noun, then it is interrogative adjective, else it is interrogative pronoun. In both the two examples, you can see that interrogative adjectives are placed just before the nouns. Alright, so interrogative adjectives are those adjectives which are used to ask questions and they are placed in a sentence just before a noun. The last kind of adjective is emphasizing adjective. Now these emphasizing adjectives, they are used to give emphasis. Kisi cheez pe zor dene ke Without these adjectives, the sentence will carry its meaning. Sentence ka ek apna matlab hoga, agar hum nahi bhi use karenge sentence pe tab bhi. But agar hum in words ko use kar rahe, like own way. So ye us sentence mein zor dene ke liye, emphasis dene ke liye use karte hain. Like if I say, I saw it with my own eyes. Mene apni aankho se dekha. Chik hai. So this own is emphasizing adjective here. That was the very thing I wanted. 
again for the emphasis the word very has been used so own very actual these all are emphasizing adjectives which are used to give emphasis in a sentence so these were the various kinds of adjectives which we did right now hope you understood that's all for today keep learning keep watching till then thank you